Emerge of education in Sudan is a service essential and inevitable, not much differed from other forms of other services that were damaged by the severe US economic sanctions since 1997. And intervention of the damage here in the core of building the mind and the necessary human development event for any case of social stability in this country which has been suffering from the ravages of civil was far more than half a century considered. And that these unilateral sanctions the government exceeded to the individual, they absolutely will, will not stop at the occurrence of scientific research, but rather had also entered into the heart and the core of the education process as a whole and damaged it by stock curricula at the beginning and preliminary engineering knowledge in multiple areas that convey and disperse when the description in the vocational education and technology were aimed at the vocational college development policies in the country in the industrial so how it seems the situation there now القوانين الدولية تكفل لجميع الطلاب على مستوى العالم تلقي نفس مستوى International laws provide for the pupils all over the world taking their share in education or education services or the ways of knowledge and these things were provided by UNESCO for all students throughout the world. Sudanese students are frustrated from these numerous advantages either by banning them from free scientific research which are found in the scientific research centers and communication with the international scientific research centers due to the U.S. sanctions. But on our part, we can say that USA has greatly contributed in adopting out an entire generation since 1907 up to the current year. Not far from the introduction and little bit of skills that do not provide sufficient doses to the people of Sudan in secondary schools, is it intended to use economic sanctions to be kept far away from any case to keep pace with emerging and occurring in the field of information technology generation or this matter has a different explanation. بعض المقاطعات اللي حصلت من العالم الخارجي بالذات الولايات المتحده الامريكيه اصبح after the embargoes of the foreign wall specifically the USA we suffered from deterioration the machines and mechanism and the equipments are the same which students were taught in the 1980s and 70s and the beginning of the new millennium while the world have witnessed a remarkable progress Yet the student after his graduating from the college and aim at work, sudden strange things face him because while the world goes on rapidly, we still educate ancient methods. High education in Sudan is no longer in its current form, is celebrated much luxuriously architecture and decoration of large certificates but became interested in the results of the advanced level of applied sciences and analogy is receiving these students in the university studies and postgraduate. Is everything is fine here in the Sudanese universities? The scientific problem is the worst thing which affects people negatively in scientific research, particularly when isolated from the advanced scientific centers throughout the world. 
it is a very bad issue. So all these factors are produced that U.S. blockade has greatly contributed in this connection with the education process in Sudan. And the weight of the U.S. sanctions increases in the field of education when a university professor speaks to the extent of his suffering and he taught his students sciences had assumed it applied across the theoretical explanation as described and be one climates in this case that he imagine the physical world in literacy more romantic but it will not be us here only to say they are studying sciences at customs parts in theory simply because washington prevent them simulators and every educational technology في كلية الاقتصاد في جامعة البحر الأحمر يمكن عندنا تخصص فريد. In the Faculty of Economy at Tracy University, we have a unique curriculum that is the Sea Transport Economies, which deals with studying the economic and commercial aspects of seaports and the operation of seaports economy. We sometimes need some simulators which are bought from abroad, but the embargo restricted us not to do so. Biomedical engineering studies cannot afford to be within the area covered by the U.S. embargo of the fact that it does not belong to political science relevance, pull out logia, or complicating political positions with what he sees as American will affect security threats to national security someday. Medical engineering in the simple means that we have who can rerun this sensitive device or that inside our hospitals or our labs that serves millions of people in the diagnosis and treatment. The embargo affected the training of cadres scientifically and technically, those who operate the devices or maintenance engineers, in addition to the programs, what help in improving the devices of specialized institutes and that represent many risks in Sudan. And what happened to the case of the field of engineering is very different from what the right engineering and other sectors. You can imagine that this plant, which seems business as exhibit stylish, is just one plant has corpus of French company operating in the field of electricity Sudanese dams within its social responsibility and has not been run for the inability of the company to jump over punitive US measure. And how was the case with the alternative lab that actually work now? نحن الآن في معمل العمليات الموحدة اللي هو اليونت أوبريشن وده بيعتبر Now we are in the United Operations Laboratory which is considered one of the most important labs in chemical engineering department where many experiments related to industry were done. Separation operations were done in it but it has a defect since 2007 and never operated due to lack of qualified cattle because of U.S. sanctions, no one was trained to operate it. Agriculture, in the other hand, did not survive from these unilateral sanctions enforced in the field of research related to biodiversity by where the SORAMs, different types of research, it is still at a stand still this vital sector to face in Sudan risks of dependency subplants that do not have direct contact research centers and biological development in the United States of America which long practiced behind international intellectual property laws and regulations and the US Treasury Department.
وانا اعتقد السودان ساهم ببعض الحاصلات الزراعية اللي هي تعتبر مورد رئيسي في هذه المنطقة واذكر بان I think Sudan has contributed with some agricultural crop which is considered as a main source in the region. I visited Texas University where we found 1,500 sources of soil. The origin area of soil, Habashia, Aqaba, and Eastern Sudan. That's one thing which improves that these original generations were kept now. But if we missed every one of them, we can't find it due to our socio-economic situations and the problems. What faced? Some areas frustrated us from original seeds generation, so we are obliged to look at global centers to regain what we missed several years ago. And it was the most prominent challenges of the economic blockade in front of the local communities in Sudan to be able to develop their own capabilities in the area of the desert crawl which began in the destruction of the environment since the early 80s of the last century and its effects are still moving towards the Arabic belt area on the paramount importance of the industry and scientific research worldwide and requires the development of research and reality better than it has been imposed on this country by Washington and who shared in this great arbitrary measure. The boycott process is of course has its severe impact in the sector of forestry pertaining the research equipment. While there are researches in Khartoum University in general, so there are forests. There are many equipments and tools which we need in our labs, but due to the embargo we couldn't have them and even we have them that occurs within tough circumstances and in high cost as well as spending a long time. The access to the scientific periodicals is very difficult unless they are obtainable in the new media means such as internet. There are many obstacles facing us, hindering us from provision of the current references in the scientific research. So what are the feasibilities of this plan which serves students in the field of marine sciences is to be updated equipment and lifting the U.S. embargo on the input of high education specialists. In the field of laboratories we have some devices work as assessing fishes ages such as bush lab machines and they are U.S. made and we can't have it due to U.S. embargo. It is not that sustainable development research evolved and these plans are moving towards building national alternatives prompt in energy, health, agriculture and education. These areas of U.S. unilateral measure serves as an open invitation for the return of the medieval obscurantism of this world, international peace and security shall now make them morality before any traditional knowledge or technical. Can we now dream of the return to ethics laws and international conventions to raise what's said by the U.S. unilateral sanctions on Sudan?